Good morning. Welcome to another track workout to continue with my training for New York City Marathon. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to come back. Well, today we're going to the track. School is not in session. I couldn't go to the track last week because school is, was in session, had already started, but today I think it's um, Rosh Hashanah. School is not in session. We're gonna do this. We have 400, 600, 1200, and then back. It's a ladder interval. I was supposed to go up all the way to the 1600s, but I am not going to. And the reason for that is that um, I missed four days of running because I was in Orlando, Florida with my family on a semi vacation style four days. We really went down there to visit colleges on the way going south. And then we took the opportunity of being there to go to these things, Hollywood Studios and Universal Studios. So there are blogs on the channel about that and you can go check them out if you want to. Um, I'll have the links below as well. But let's get this do done. I need to go back, sit in front of the computer, all those good things. I always tell in pretty much all my videos. So let's do it. As of today, we are two months away from New York City Marathon. What does that mean? That means I need to step it up, guys. This has been the weirdest training phase, training plan I have done. Not because of the plan, because of my personal situation. So I started training, and at the same time that I started training for the marathon with the Hansons marathon plan, I started a new job. What that, did that mean? That meant that I had to go to Cleveland four days for training, then, which obviously messes up the training schedule. Then I had to go to Vegas for a conference with my company, and that was another four days. I ran over there, but I couldn't put my um, interval training, so, or my tempos because I was running through the city. And now, most recently, we went down to Florida to check colleges for my son, and that was five days. And we drove, so we drove from here, from the Philadelphia area, 17 hours south, and then we drove 17 hours up. So those two days, I was basically immobile inside the car, which is not good, obviously. And it's not good for anybody, not good for someone who's training for New York City Marathon, for any marathon. So now, two months out, I need to step it up. I need to start bumping the miles and just really hitting all the workouts. So how are we gonna do that? We're just gonna dig deep. Because honestly, all this stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. They make you not gain fitness. I mean, it's fine to have a few days off that's totally fine. You might actually gain strength. But in my experience training for other races, it's hard to do so when you are like, again, stopping and restarting again. So let's do this, we're at the track. I'm gonna connect run keeper. 400, 800, 1200, 800, 400 with 400 meters in between. Let's do this guys. So that was the first 400. That wasn't too bad. Now I'm jogging. And it's, I love these ladder workouts because it's just loops. So I have one loop, one loop, two loops, one loop, three loops, one loop, and then backwards. So yeah, it's very easy to keep track. Go. 
in again. I'm not gonna check my time till later. Because last time I did that, I checked. I got discouraged because I wasn't going fast enough. So we're jogging. We're gonna turn, take another turn, do another loop, and do 1200 meters. So, okay, so now we go down. I just finished 1.2. That was super hard. Oh. Remember, guys, I am skipping the 1.6, going back down the ladder again. Okay, so now I have 400 slow and I'm just jogging. Super easy base and then the last 400 fast and then the cool down. That last 800 was kind of a killer. I am pretty sure I put my heart rate super high. We'll check later, so stick around. Okay, so let's see. First 400 intervals was 846. The second one was 909. First, 800 was 912. The second, 925. And then, the 1.2, that was 917. Oh wow. So obviously, I gave it my all to the 1.2 and then after that, I bonked a little bit. Yeah, well, Now let's see how high my heart rate went. My heart rate went to 182 in the last 800 and the last 400. So yeah, I gave it my all guys. Couldn't have done any better. But yeah, this is gonna do it. I hope you follow me on my journey to train and run New York City Marathon. If you're running New York City Marathon as well, November 7th, leave me a comment below. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And also, if you see this fit, please give it a like. See you in my next video. Run fearless.